the elk were, you know, in the wintertime getting down into the, the river basins and stuff, and they were eating all the willows, and they were killing the willows and eroding the, the river banks and stuff, and the beavers had to move out because they had no willows to build their dams with and all that kind of stuff. Um, so then they say that once they brought the wolves in, the wolves pushed these elk back up into, like, the trees and out of the basins and stuff like that. Um, and miraculously, the beavers just started coming back to Yellowstone and, and fixing the rivers. Um, what a lot of people don't understand is they actually uh, relocated 125 beavers <coughs> into Yellowstone. Um, hmm. So they, they make it seem like these beavers migrated hundreds of miles because all of a sudden the ecosystem needed rebalancing by beavers, but they actually introduced a bunch of beavers into the areas. Um, wow, I didn't I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my my things that I always laugh about when they say, "Well, the beavers came back." Now they were they were placed there again. So that was you can't really say the wolves fixed that. You know, they when they brought them in, um, and so well, they did the same thing in uh, in Idaho too. They actually airdropped beavers into Idaho. Right. Yeah. Into the yeah those those high basins and stuff like that where they thought they needed them. Um, and I actually have a friend in, in Yellowstone that goes, goes there frequently. Um, and he actually told me the problem now is since the bison came back, when the elk left, the bison came back. And now the bison are the ones tearing up and eroding the riverbanks and everything. And since the wolves don't kill as many bison, um, you know, a couple years ago, we had to have that, that bison coal hunt in Yellowstone because they were getting overpopulated. So now we're, we took away one problem and another one's come back. So now you know, they got to do these coal hunts for bison. And that was a huge, a huge fight, you know, with activists of them not wanting to go out there and, and control the population. Right. Well, and that's, that's another issue all in itself, right? Um, <clears throat> there, I mean, we go to Yellowstone almost every year. It's only a couple hours away from me. And they do have a in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, and this is something else that people just don't understand, the greater Yellowstone ecosystem, all of these different ecosystems, you've got the greater continental divide, the Yellowstone ecosystem, the Bitterroot ecosystem, all these different ecosystems, right? 